Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PBQ. Uh, today we're talking about the December Patch Tuesday, the last of the year. If you're wondering why it looks different around me, uh, I'm recording this from my basement because I refuse to go outside because I don't want my toes used to be frozen. As far as Patch Tuesday goes, it's actually an incredibly light month. It's like a Christmas gift for all of us. Holiday gift, I guess, if I'm looking to be more appropriate. A total of 49 vulnerabilities patched. I can't recall the number being that low in years, so I think that's pretty awesome. Seven of those are critical, and there is one that is exploited. Uh, one of the 8.5s involves PowerShell, so I'm going to talk about that one because I see the word PowerShell, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, so while it is network facing, it does require some access in the system, and it has an extremely high complexity because stuff has to be set up beforehand before they can run it against you. So it is a network uh, available risk, but there's a lot of setup and other requirements that go into it. I personally feel like 8.5 is a little bit high. I think that uh, the word PowerShell just makes people nervous. But I mean, I don't rate these things, and what do I know? Maybe, maybe, maybe my PowerShell bias is making it different. You know, 8.5, that's what it is. My opinion aside, it's still something. Update your PowerShell uh, probably as soon as possible. Uh, the other one is an 8.8. .8. Uh, vulnerability and it has to do with sh uh, SharePoint and this one is another one it is network facing but they do need to have some kind of access and I'm going to I'm sorry read my notes because I already forgot it they have to have manage list permissions to your SharePoint server to be able to run that one so it's another one where it is networking accessible but it does require a certain setup for it to be used beforehand it's another one 8.8 .8. It, it is listed as critical, but there's nothing uh, like we've seen in previous months where it's, you know, if you if you breathe wrong, you're you're at risk. It's there's some things that go into it. It's uh, it's not terrible either. And that, that's the worst of them. And also, I mean, it's a, it's a great month. It's a great month. A nice, peaceful time for the holidays. Uh, the last one I'm going to cover is just a 5.4 threat. I'm covering it because it was already exploited and it involves the smart screen. And basically, if you download a bad file, they can bypass different security settings on on the smart screen. So it's local vector, it requires user interaction. There's a lot that goes into that one. I wouldn't even mention it, but it was actively used somewhere. So apparently it is it is doable. And, and that's, a, that's pretty much it. Uh, December, a nice month. I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, either way, if you have your automation going, but you know, this is all doing itself anyway. So the numbers don't matter. You're just here because I'm delightful. Everyone loves listening to Jordan talk and I don't blame you. Uh, if you have more questions, I'll be back next month, unless I retire due to a uh, sudden windfall of cash. For PDQ, I'm Jordan.